The NFL's biggest game of the year is now less than two weeks away, which will mean billions of dollars in revenue and sports betting where that's allowed. But Western Mass residents have to wait another year before trying their hand here in the Bay State. Western Mass News reporter Matt Satilli now joins us live in studio with the details. Matt. Kristen Jordan, it's been over three years since the U.S. Supreme Court legalized sports gambling, and now it's legal in more than half of the states. I checked in with one local legislator about his push to open up the sports books here in the Commonwealth. At a certain point, we, we can't build walls around ourselves. Uh, this issue has kind of come and gone, I think, uh, and it's time for Massachusetts to legalize professional sports betting. State Senator Eric Lesser from Longmeadow, who recently announced his campaign for lieutenant governor, is backing a bill that would legalize professional sports gambling in Massachusetts. Connecticut, Rhode Island, New Hampshire, and New York are among the 30 states which passed legislation allowing it. So where does the Bay State stand? Our hope is, is that we can get this done and get them reconciled sooner rather than later. But at this point, there unfortunately isn't a tight timeline on it. The American Gaming Association estimates that over $4 billion was placed on last year's Super Bowl. And south of the border, Connecticut reported collecting $1.7 million from the first month of legal wagers. We also spoke with Bill Stetson, the owner of the Rumble Seat Bar and Grill, who's watching the progress of several different bills at the State House. It just matters whether the people that make the final decision and final vote want to leave out the 20,000 small businesses, mostly family owned in the state, and cater to three casinos. He is one of over 100 restaurant and bar owners who endorsed a sports wagering bill introduced by State Senator Adam Gomez from Springfield that would allow customers to place bets at kiosks stationed at his bar, which would be key, especially after COVID has hurt business. Just like we give uh, the casinos the opportunity to have Keno and uh, lottery, we should have the opportunity to have sports gaming. And he's calling on Lesser and other local leaders to make sure everyone has an opportunity to share a piece of the pie. One of the you know, purposes of slowing this down is to try to bring all the stakeholders together and try to make sure as much as possible we're including some of those local voices. State Senator Lesser adds he's pushing for sports gambling to be legalized in Massachusetts by the end of 2022. It's worth noting his bill, as well as one proposed by Governor Baker, would only allow bets to be placed on professional sports and not at the collegiate level. Live in studio, Matt Satilli, Western Mass News.